What's up, freaks? We are here live in Southern California, Orange County, with the 24 hour push up challenge. We are about eight and a half hours in. Over, I can't see it out here. Over, I know over 34, 30 something hundred push ups in, or 40 something push, I don't even know how many, almost 4,000 push ups in. We are taking a cold dip into the water. The water is freezing right now in the pool. It's pretty cold out here tonight. And then from there, gonna jump into the jack to go from cold to hot, back to cold with a set of push-ups in between each. Because I'll tell you what, eight and a half hours in of just non-stop push-ups, literally push-ups on the minute, every freaking minute. The chest and tries feel good, but the joints, the bones, the bony ass elbows that my genetics gave me are the only thing that's a little bit worn down now. So we're gonna go dip them in the pool, cool them off, then dip them in, into the jack, hitting push-ups in between on the path to 10,000 fucking push-ups. We're gonna make it happen. Little freak shows are out here. They are still, Tyson is still going strong. Midge is still going strong. Let's get a quick check on where they are. If I could flip this around. Tyson, how many, put, how many are you on? You gotta bring your counter with you. Okay, We're gonna be doing that here. I was like 1,931. So you're almost at 2,000 freaking push-ups in eight yeah. and a half hours. There's something wrong with you, Baldy. <laughs> that ain't even freaking normal. That ain't even normal. So I was doing 10 a minute on, uh, for the first about, close to about the seven hour mark. Oh shit, I just dropped my banana in the grass. But you know what? I don't give a shit. I'll eat the, oh what did I do? It's covered in grass. I gotta get a new banana. Need a banana, I have my Herbalife drink here. Tice, grab me another banana, I just dropped mine all in the grass. It got all nasty. So I was doing at 10 push-ups a minute for the full seven hours, literally almost uh, pretty much, except on the walk, we weren't exactly on the minutes. We were walking around talking and whatever, doing videos when we were going for the walk around the neighborhood in the middle of the street doing push-ups. But thanks. Yeah. Banana, you got potassium and sugar and carbs in there to fill in those muscles. So went down just to keep it sustainable down to sets of eight sets of six here and there sets of five here and there just mixing it up abe abood what's up freak abe is over there in idaho doing the same thing 24 hours worth of push-ups and he's probably regretting that right about now as he's hitting close to the nine or ten hour mark we're getting to the nine hour close to the nine hour mark and we've slowed the pace down here just to make sure we're sustainable and i am at 3497 Actually, speaking of that, let me just pop in, pop for a quick set. One second, I gotta hit a quick set on the push-ups. Like right there, just hit a set, a quick set of eight. So let me take our little pitch counter here, little baseball pitch counter, and just pop it eight times and it gives the number. That just got me over 3,500. And we've sold the pace because we still got a lot of time left and I need to get to 10,000 and we wanna make sure that we are not fading. We're going through all through the fucking night we're gonna be doing this. The freak's already back there in the jack. You're supposed to be dipping in then coming out for a set, not just hit, hanging out in there. This ain't swim class. So you get the counter on the side. I'm going in the cold first. I'm dipping my elbows in the cold. So I'm gonna jump in. The, I'm gonna do a set. Jump into the cold water. Let's, let's see what it feels like. Holy oh, shit! Yeah, that's pretty cold. Not cold like it is at the project, but it's cold enough that you're gonna feel it because you're not ready for it. I was gonna start jumping in the water every morning, 5 a.m. or 4:45 a.m. Just jumping into the pool just to wake your ass up. It's like you take an ice cold shower, but just literally just go out there and just jump right in the pool. Right after I do my meditation. Think about doing that every morning. Might start doing that. Meditate, do my journaling, just come out here and jump in the freaking pool. Just wake your ass up. Because it gets cold, especially overnight in the morning here in, in the in the mountains, in the hills in Southern California. You're over Linda. So make sure you share this video, like this video. At 29.10, nice. Abe is almost is about to crack 3,000. Hell yeah, we st I started slowing down right around there at 3,000. That's when I started slowing down just to make sure we could sustain the night. 
Muscles are feeling good, energy's feeling good, wide awake, full of energy. Just the elbows a little locked up, but that's all good. Not little bitches, we'll make it happen. But yeah, shoulders are working, shoulders are working, chests are working for sure. Yeah, we're about to go dip into that in between. So I'm gonna do like a set of 10 now after this little longer break. Set of 10, jump in the pool, 45 seconds, come out for another set of 10, jump in the hot tub, 45 seconds, jump out, another set of, well, maybe not 10. I'm not gonna bullshit you, we're gonna start lowering it down. I've been lowering it down for the last hour and hour and a half, hour 45. Been doing maybe like a set of 10, then a set of five and six, eight, 10, five, six, eight, something like that, been breaking it down. And a couple minutes here and there, like we were eating some food, had some like turkey meatballs that we were eating and, and trying to do the push-ups while we're eating with the red sauce and that shit just wasn't working. I almost puked all over myself like five fucking times. So we took like a couple of minutes in between. We eat a little bit, wait a few minutes, do a set, eat a little bit, wait a few minutes. Cause I was literally eating and doing them on the minute. That red sauce mixed in with all the other carbs and other shit in the stomach. It almost got nasty, it almost got nasty. So, let me bang out a set here. I'm fucking yapping too much. I'm gonna fall behind the clock. I gotta get this number up. Give me a second. I'm gonna prop you up here next to the banana and I'm gonna drop down for a quick set. There's just another eight right there. So I gotta click it on my pitch counter. Hey freaks, get out and do a set. You I did, I just did one right now. What? Let me flip this around. They're calling, they're claiming they're doing some sets. Here we go. It's a little dark out here, but there you can see the Russian and the midget. The midget is still going, look at this. This little midget is still going strong. Midget? He's doing five. Good job, bitch. Give me five. Hey. Nice did. work. I don't care if that hurts. How about you, sucker? I did five. <laughs> what I do you got? You're over 700? I am at... She's like... 831. This little freak is at 831. This little nut job is just about to crack 2,000. Like, what the fuck? Is he, this if I keep fading little... and he keeps just oh. chipping away... Who knows? Maybe he's gonna make up that thousand or whatever. I'm ahead of him. Or no, I'm at fifteen. I'm at fifteen hundred ahead, but maybe I just started too fast, like that the tortoise and the hare, or the turtle and the hare, whatever the fuck it's called. The, the race. The, it's like a kid story. It's like the fast rabbit that takes off so long, he gets so far ahead, so he takes a nap because he thinks he won, and he rests in the turtle, but the turtle just keeps going slow and steady, and the turtle ends up beating him. No, never heard that in school. No, I know I heard of it. I heard of it in second grade. The whole point is don't get complacent, don't get lazy. Just because you're ahead. You don't slow down, you keep going. You go for the kill, kill shot. And after that kill shot, you search for another kill shot. You get complacent, complacency kills. CK, the project freak. Freaks know about that with the emotional discipline, how complacency kills, CK. All right, I'm gonna go jump in this pool. Enough of me babbling. We will check in with you in a little bit. Make sure to click on that link so you can donate, share this video, comment, like, share it, share it with your friends, your family members, your coworkers. We are donating to the Boys and Girls, or not the Boys and Girls Club, the Big Brothers, Big Sisters here in Orange County. Oh my God, I thought that was someone behind me. I thought someone was creeping up on me. It's freaking Bob. I was about to shoot him. Anyway, I will talk to you later. I'm going to go dip in, in between these sets, get some, some recovery, rejuvenation time, and then back at it. We're going all night. We got some movies. We got The Purge coming up next. We are playing a game called the Sock Game. I'm going to show you the Sock Game. And we're also the board game called Mastermind Game. I'll show you both of those. If you don't have those, like, think, we, I've gotten so much done today. I've scheduled so many calls for the week. I've done so much reading and studying already during this time. So much done. Sent out so many freaking emails and text messages. Getting work done. Like, it's it's awesome. The clock ticks for a minute. When, when the clock is on, we put the clock off now while we're outside. But the clock ticks for a minute. You go in hard, like 100% laser beam focus for a minute. Get as much done as you can get in a minute. And then you realize, and then, and Freak Show just jumped in the pool. How is it? Oh, it's good. It's good. good? Yeah. <laughs> Sucker. And then right back to the push ups. Then another minute of attacking. Like it's crazy. Getting so much done per hour, and we're going to get so much more done going through the night. I'm going to write some emails. They're going to be set up for the entire week for all the different businesses. 
All right, I'm done babbling. I need to go jump in there and get one. I'm going to do a set before I jump in. All right, I will talk to you later. You are fucking awesome. Just please go share, donate, help out the cause. I will talk to you later. And just wait and stay tuned till you see what's coming next with Peak Physique, with the project, with all the shit that's going on. I'll talk to you later. You are fucking awesome. No excuses.